Wexford FC captain Ethan Boyle was recently in the local playground with his 18-month-old son when he had a really unfortunate encounter. Ethan is with us on the line today. Ethan, thank you for, for joining us in the programme. Will you just tell us what happened? Yeah, no problem. Um, I was just going to the park with my son, as I said before, and uh, there was a, a lady walking her dogs and um, her dog was, you know, doing what dogs did in the grass and... Um, I noticed she was well, what appeared like she was going to walk away from it, so I just kind of looked to see what she would do, and um, she didn't seem too happy that I was, you know, looking at her to make sure she was going to pick it up. Um, so then she did. She gestured down then to pick it up with a bag, and then uh, me and my son went into the park, and she walked by. We made eye contact. She was shaking her head. She was clearly not happy with me, and I just asked, like, is there a problem? To which she said, oh, I wasn't looking at you or something like that. And I said, like, I'm just making sure that you picked up the dog's mess. And then she said, it's nothing to do with me or what's it to do with me. And I said, it's, you know, someone could step in it. To which she said, then you shouldn't be stepping here, something like that. And then she continued on with her laps. I kind of got the gist of what, what she was trying to say or what she was trying to get at. And then um, she was just doing her rounds and she came back and I just said to her, you know, I am from, from Ireland. I'm from Wexford. And she kind of looked me up and down and laughed and said, yeah, right. And there was a, a few back and forths between us there in that interaction. Is that a common occurrence, Ethan? Uh, it's the first time it's happened to me uh, in a park, you know, just, you know, with my son or yeah. something like that. I've, I've encountered racism before and <clears throat> stuff like that, but never in that scenario. But you, you're you're from Wexford. You, you've You've grown up in Wexford all your life, haven't you? Yeah, well, I was I was born in England. My parents met in England, and I was born there. But um, I've spent the majority of my life. I've been yeah. back and forth, probably from when I was born to Wexford a few times, but been residing here permanently since I was maybe um, twelve or thirteen. But yeah, like I live uh, back and forth between there and England. But my mother is Wexford born and raised, and my father is Jamaican. They met in England. That's where I was born. And and this kind of like you know. Well, it's it's it, it's not subtle racism like it it is it it is racist commentary. It's it's not something though, day to day growing up in Wexford or in Ireland that you you would have had to deal with, or is it? Um, I, I was trying to think back on it, and there's definitely been occasions growing up when I was younger, um, amongst other kids and stuff like that. I'm going back maybe. 10 more than 10 years like 10 15 years maybe like when when you're a young kid but that's with other kids um and kids can kind of pick that up from their parents and whatnot at different yeah. times the further you go back so it's uh, and kids are always a little like kids can just say things and they're not really fully educated on stuff so it's a different scenario to now where it's an adult but like this is probably the first time in this kind of setting where an adult has said something like this to me um i've dealt with it before as an adult in different circumstances but not in this circumstance is it something you encounter on the pitch 